0.75 HS Okay, so that's how long our W will be Okay So this is the dimension for our W Okay 8.75 inches Times 0 0.75 inches okay. It might be a bit forward depending on the part that we just cut out Okay, because usually this part we don't put down the wheel We put filler only Okay Filler means sometimes it's from aluminium but it does not carry load Okay So that is thickness to restore back the stiffness Okay, this one is to allocate the fastener Hole margin Edge margin Now, reserve factor Okay Reserve factor What is reserve factor? Reserve factor is P allowable over P origin Reserve factor equal P allowable over P origin P allowable means Our strength of the doubler Doubler strength The doubler that we just propose Is having this size The thickness is 0 0.08 inches The height is 0 0.75 inches Correct? Okay Meanwhile The cut out Is having 0 0.5 inches and 0 0.064 inches so the formula is going to be FTU times area over FTU times area This is area W, area uh, cut out Cut out We want to compare, are we uh, giving uh, a positive uh, rest uh, loading, eh? restoration back? Okay So let's assume FTU for 0 0.08 and 0 0.04 inches of thickness is the same Let's assume Okay, that's a table I will show you after this Okay That's a table that shows the value of FTU for each thickness It will be slightly different But sometimes it is table in one uh, part Okay, so let's assume this is the same Okay So A for this area is going to be 0 0.08 times 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.5 times 0 0.064 So you will get 0 0.08 Okay, so you will get 1.875 Reserve factor must be greater or equal than 1 So we achieve already Okay, 1.875 What about margin of safety? Margin of safety is reserve factor minus 1 And the requirement for margin of safety must be greater than 0 So 1.875 minus 1 So you will get 0 0.875 Okay Greater than 0 lah Right Correct It's not minus lah Yang penting bukan minus Okay So we have a margin safety of 75.5% Okay, this is basically margin safety 
So that is how we show our calculation through reserve factor and margin safety. There's no use you calculate load loss and then failure mode and then you determine the faster. Okay, and then you don't show this one. This is the value that both OEM, Boeing and Airbus requires. Margin of safety and reserve factor. Okay. Any question for me? Okay. So let's let's recap back. So this is our exercise number one. Okay.